has stated that human trafficking, uh, dishes against human trafficking are decreasing because more, more and more agencies are joining against to fight human trafficking. Uh, the percentages of slaves are decreasing and that But my team and I still disagree. This is not the case. The U.S. has blatantly been ignoring powerful laws um, that could help at least decrease the rate of human trafficking somewhat, if not significantly. Congress is constantly avoiding this issue and it needs to stop. We have also said that victims are not given the financial care that they not only require but deserve to have to so gain even the basic necessities that we take advantage of every single day. They're struggling to make a living more and more every year. And due to this neglect, they can become vulnerable to falling back to human trafficking or other abuse, such as drug abuse and alcohol abuse. Lastly, we have said that funding is constantly increasing because of previous efforts are failing. Millions and millions of dollars are invested into initiatives against human trafficking, yet they still make a revenue of an astonishing $13 billion per year. There is a major flaw uh, against court, uh, court rulings against human trafficking. They're not punished as harshly as they should be. In 2012, Proposition 30, 35 was created in order to increase prison sentences. The original sentences were the forced sex trafficking of an adult was an average of five years, whereas forced sex trafficking of a minor was an average of eight. However, as the trafficker that was prosecuted has victim or victims that are minors um, that are willingly participating in the trafficking, they get no time at all. Yet. Human trafficking has not been and never will be a victimless crime. And this is significant because even though Proposition 35 was accepted, there's, as we have said before, that the U.S. has not been fully enforcing these laws and there is no saying that, um, that none of the other states because this proposition was only applied to California. Now, traffickers come from many different locations and have many different relations with their victims. They often share national, ethnic, and cultural backgrounds in order to more further relate to their victims and exploit their vulnerabilities. They can be male or female, it does not matter. They are sometimes small business owners, factory owners, the usually suspected gangs, but they can also be close family members or intimate partners. There are many signs that could show that um, somebody you know might be being trafficked. These signs include poor, poor work conditions, poor mental health and uh, or abnormal behavior, poor physical health, lack of control, and um, many other reasons such as uh, inconsistent story and constantly un uh, you're constantly unknown to like, what is happening to them and what's going on. Thousands of women are trafficked each year, thousands of mothers, daughters, sisters, and friends. And it could happen to anybody, not only women, even though it's not as common. As, um, as, or popular in the media at least. Um, without the needed steps that need to be taken in order to stop human trafficking, um, they can become vulnerable. And to be honest, if you genuinely don't believe um, in our argument, then I can't make you believe in anything. I can't force you to believe anything. But if you care about basically anybody, <laughs> then I suggest that you try to inform yourself on what's going on and try to help you stop human trafficking or somebody you know could be the next person. That was a tough crowd, so everybody <laughs> can just cut me a little slack. Uh, uh, my opponent has said that uh, the rate of people being human trafficked today is the highest number ever and then it continues to grow but i disagree with the statement because it's only the population is only getting bigger because of inflation in the world's population uh, the, in 1850 the world population was 23 million or in the u.s was 23 million 191,876 people and there are 3.8 million slaves that comes out to about 6% of slaves in the population. In 2010, uh, 308,745,538 people lived in the U.S. and an estimated 21 to 36 million were enslaved. 
around the world. And counting slaves around the world, that still only came out to over 8.5%. So, uh, therefore, on, the only reason that there are more people, more slaves today is because of inflation. My opponent also said that slave owners tend to be factory owners or business owners or neighbors, but I disagree with the statement. Because from my research I found that parents sometimes sell their kids into human trafficking for money. These parents don't act as parents or role models that their kids need. And uh, after their parents receive money from selling their kids, they usually spend it on illegal substances, such as drugs like heroin and meth. And from that, uh, or therefore, human trafficking. Therefore, uh, I found that parents usually sell their kids into human trafficking. have stated that America doesn't spend enough money on human trafficking, that America isn't doing anything to stop it, that victims have been left behind and people are not being caught for what they've done. But we disagree. My opponents and I have said the anti-human trafficking initiatives are helping to eradicate this issue. We have explained how the, there have been several occasions when groups of people have been saved from human trafficking gangs and explained how hard investigators work to save these sexually exploited children and have those committing these crimes pay for what they've done. We have clarified that projects like the RACE, ran by associations like the Anti-Slavery International, are working and helping to stop this issue. My teammates and I have shown irrefutable evidence on how other countries are working hard to raise awareness, and it is working. I would also like to point out that there are many different types of, of human trafficking. We want to emphasize all different types of trafficking, not just the ones based on children, women and children. Most people believe that human trafficking is just forced prostitution or child labor. But human trafficking is so much more than that. It can happen to anyone of any age. Victims are usually vulnerable and have given up all hope. Women and children are usually forced into sex exploitation or prostitution, and men are most likely forced into hardworking labor or even trafficking, tra trafficked into organ, forcing victims to give organs to others. We would also like to point out how exactly these initiatives are working and how we can keep going from where we are now. <coughs> Plenty of human trafficking issues are going on all around the world, 24 seven, and nobody can do, do anything to, to help. If more and more people knew, were aware of all the human trafficking problems and causes, it would bring us closer and closer to eradicating the issue altogether. In the website, in the website article Beyond Rescue, dedicated to anti-human trafficking, Beyond Rescue describes how the International Justice Mission, otherwise known as the IJM, is a group of law enforcers who fight against human rights abuses. The most logical conclusion that we can draw from this evidence is that human trafficking initiatives are raising awareness of this issue and helping in eradicating human trafficking. Because the I, IJM is working to help against the human trafficking, human right abuses, and working to help make sure that the victims of human trafficking will be helped and the abusers will be arrested and, and prosecuted for his crimes. Also, according to the article Safe Haver, a state, a, the state of Georgia's former representative, Ed Lindsay, and Senator Renee Unterman officially pre-filed legislation in Georgia to ensure the, pro the protection of child human trafficking victims. This is significant because this shows how many people, including state senators, are concerned about this issue and are finally doing something to help prevent it from happening, which directly helps in, initial, in nationally getting rid of human trafficking completely. We cannot just all in all stop raising awareness because that helps nobody. What we need to do is keep letting more and more people know about this issue because nobody can stop anything unless somebody tries. The goal of anti-trafficking initiatives, raising awareness 
and eradicating human trafficking can't be done unless people know about it to help stop it. My opponent may say that we cannot stop raising awareness for human trafficking, and I agree. We, in fact, don't just need to keep on doing what we're doing, we need to do more. My opponent also said that people often sell their children for money and uh, other goods that they need to survive. The fact that this is still going on is more proof that we need to do more to stop human trafficking. They gave many examples of how people get caught and sucked into human trafficking and how they are forced to work or provide sexual acts. This, again, everything that we're saying is we need to do more. What we're doing right now isn't working if there's still human trafficking in the world. We always need to do more. It will never be eradicated, but we can try to lessen it. And they also said there's nothing we can do to help that everything's out of our control and governments and private organizations have already are already working on this. But I disagree. You and me, everyone, we can all fund money, we can all we all give a dollar, we'll have if everyone gave a dollar, we'd all have enough to at least get close to eradicating human trafficking. We can actually do something in this fight. Thank you.